Hello everyone! In this video I want to show you how you can print indirect or mediated effects conveniently in the M Plus software. In case you are new to this channel, a few words about what I do here. Every week I present a video here on some statistical topic, typically something related to structural equation modeling, confirmatory factor analysis or latent class analysis, often related to the M plus software or to a general topic. So if that's, this is something that interests you, then please subscribe to this channel. Also, if you like this video, please hit the like button and check out the description for more resources, including more free workshops and uh, other resources. So in this video, we're going to talk about the mediated effect and how to conveniently print this mediated effect in the M plus software when you analyze um, a path model in which you have mediator variables and you're interested in the indirect effects. That's often something that um, we want to do when we analyze path analysis. And so I want to briefly review based on the simple path model what that can look like. You can see that here we have a very simple path model with an exogenous variable x, a mediator m, and an outcome or dependent variable y. And you can see that there's a regression equation for uh, y in this model. y is a function of an intercept i, and then it's a function of x with the path c prime here, and a function of the mediator m with the b path. And then there's also a residual or error variable uh, epsilon at the end. And so in addition, we also have the mediator m, which is a function of x and an, a separate error term. So we have a separate equation for the mediator m. It also has an intercept i and then it is a times x plus epsilon m. And so now where do we find the indirect effect in this model? This is the effect that we're often interested in when we have a path model with a mediator. So the direct effect you can see here is the is given by the C prime path that directly goes from the X variable to Y. And then in addition, X also has an indirect effect on Y via the mediator M. And so this is the green path here, which is actually a function of the two paths A and B. So the path, the direct path from X to M and then the direct path from M to Y. So in terms of, or in mathematical terms, this indirect effect from x to y is given as the product a times b. And I have a separate video on this channel that you find in the description where I explain why the indirect effect is given as the product a times b. So you can check that out in case that is something that you didn't know or that you want to learn more about. And so the key thing is that when we analyze a path model like this, it's kind of tedious to um, calculate this product by hand, especially if you have multiple mediator variables or you have a complex path model with um, different indirect effects, then calculating all this by hand would be inconvenient and also then it wouldn't be so easy for you to figure out, for example, whether the indirect effect is statistically significant. And so in this video here, I want to show you how you can um, get this done in M+, how a special command that you can use in the M+, software does this for you. It prints the indirect effects um, directly and gives you also a standard error and a test of significance for the indirect effect. So let's go to M+, and let's take a look at how this works. Here I have an input file for this exact model with three variables x, m, and y. You can see those here in the names list. And the model says y on x, m. So we're regressing y on both x and m. That's the first equation that I showed you on the slide. And then m on x is the second equation where the mediator is regressed on x. So that's how you can specify a path model very simply in m+. And then in order to print the indirect effect, you use the command model indirect as part of the model statement to print the direct, indirect, and total effects in M+. And so in this model indirect subcommand here, 
you simply state y i n d x. And so what that means is that you want to see all the indirect effects that go from x to y. In this case, there's only one indirect effect because there's only one mediator variable m. But if you had another mediator variable in between x and y, then m plus would not only give you the first mediated effect, but also the second mediated effect. So all of the indirect effects from x to y will be printed with this command. If you don't include this subcommand model indirect, then m plus will not give you the indirect effect or the total effect, and you would have to compute those by hand. And so this is convenient to get the indirect effects and then also to get a standard error and a test statistic. Now I want to show you what this looks like when you run this path model in M plus with this model indirect subcommand. Here it is again, model indirect y i n d x. And so when we go down, we get our usual M plus output, descriptive statistics first, and then model fit information, which here is not super relevant because this is a saturated model with zero degrees of freedom. And then the model results, as usual, first the unstandardized parameter estimates, where in this case you only get, um, or in any case, when you uh, estimate a path model, you only get the direct effects, so to say by default, as part of the model results, but you wouldn't get the indirect effects if you hadn't put this model indirect subcommand. Next are the standardized model results, again, only the direct effects are printed by default, and then you get R squared for the dependent variables. And then below that, because we included the model indirect subcommand, we're now also getting a detailed list of the total, total indirect, specific indirect, and direct effects um, from M plus. First, in unstandardized form. So again, so say what is given first are unstandardized estimates, so keep that in mind. And you can see here that M plus first lists effects from X to Y, the total effect. The total effect is the sum of the direct effect from X to Y plus all indirect effects. In this case, there's only one. And then it also lists the total indirect effect, so which would be the sum of all indirect effects. In this case, again, there's only one. So therefore, this total indirect um, estimate here is the exact same as what you give, what you get here under specific indirect one, where M plus lists or shows you that this is the path from X to Y via M. So it lists Y, M, X. And so this is the only specific indirect effect that we have in this simple path model. If you had more mediators, then there would be more specific or would be additional specific indirect, effect, indirect effects that would also be listed right here. And then finally, we get the direct effect that we've already seen. So that is the exact same estimate that we get above in the regular model results section, because that is the direct path, the C prime path from x to y, negative 0.094, whereas the negative 0.085, that's the indirect effect, meaning the path A times B. Now note that you also get a standard error here for all effects, and those are computed here by default in M plus according to the Sobel method. The Sobel method is one method to obtain a standard error for an indirect effect and then a test statistic here and a p-value. Now that's not the only way in which you could test an indirect effect in M plus. There's also bootstrapping that you could use. You could compute confidence intervals using bias corrected bootstrap or some other bootstrap methods. So here I'm only showing you the default, but there are other options in M plus. Um, that may be more appropriate and more powerful or something for testing the indirect effect. You can see here, according to the Sobel method, the indirect effect would be statistically significant at the 0.05 level. You can see that from the fact that the p-value here in the uh, rightmost column is very, very small, smaller than an alpha level of, for example, 0.05. And so this 
um, specific indirect effect here or mediated effect would be significant at the 0.05 level according to this Sobel method. Below that, you also get the standardized effects in the same way. So now um, X and Y or all variables are standardized. And so here you get the standardized estimates in case you are more interested in those. Again, with a standard error, with a test statistic and a p-value. I hope you liked this video. Again, please subscribe to this channel and hit the like button and I'll see you next time.